All right, guys, here we go. Johnson versus Anders, game number one in this best of seven. Rock seems to like the Anders pick. On this map. I'm Koei, thank you for the follow. There as well, while I was aware. <clears throat> Supply pack constructed. And here we go. Grand finals time. Almirante vs Rock Generation, always a really good series. Almirante just edging it out in the, uh, was it? $200 best of nine they played earlier this week. By four he won that, but controversially, uh, Rock lost one game in that series due to a disconnect in the 20-something minute. Uh, so that was unfortunate. You could technically say it was a draw, but now in this UNSC only tournament, we get to see who is the best UNSC player. when playing against UNSC. So Almirante and Rock both picking up a mini base each. Almirante picks up his second. Jing has Marines in the middle, picking up the power. There's two Marines also picking up the blue, but he's gonna lose that mini base out to Almirante there. Almirante looks like he canceled the mini on the back and he goes into a uh, barracks fifth. While Rock Gen has a double generator on the base here. Watchtower coming up. And a barracks on the stolen mini. Almirante probably wants to get around the back there and take that before that watchtower comes up. Because that will really put Rock in a tough position. I should cancel that. Almirante needs that. If Rock gets that, it's going to help him a lot. Yeah, it's going to get that. And it's probably going to be an armory that goes down there. To help him defend this. Help bring us coming out. We got Marines picking up the power node in the middle now. I want to say it's building help bring us in the middle there. Yeah, he probably should have cancelled the mini on his side. We've got a late barracks coming up now. Rock already has units out, so it's gonna be a double barracks from Almirante. Picks up four mini bases. Not building units out of one. Supply pad going down. He hasn't scouted this. Uh, maybe he's not expecting a barracks or feels like he can hold it with the single barracks. Last time we saw this happen against EOD, he did defend with the armory. Bunker drop ready. And these two supply pads are upgraded. I'm going to put flamers in those. Jackrabbit is going to be dying to flamers in a second. Units are pushing it straight down the middle to the base. First turret being queued now. Gonna hop out and go kill the turret. This is really difficult because if you don't kill the bunker by the time another one comes up, Almirante is going to have two bunkers on this base. That's where it's dead. These flamers are dead. Both players on pretty similar population. Rock in the middle dealing with the flamers as well. Mostly Marines for him. I'll bring us more and more Hellbringers coming out. Marines trailing across the map as well. Second generator for Almirante 99. Another bunker drop ready. Right in the middle of the army. Doesn't get any stuns off with it. Rock gets into tech two. Does now have the armory on the back. Douglas is on the way out. Just has to hold long enough. Has two power nodes, which Almirante is not taking away from him. That's extra power for Rock with the double gen as well. Sniper now here, ready. That's where he's going to fall again. Almirante sitting on... 500, 500 here. 
I mean, behind doing all this, he, he has a double gen. He's not going to be far away from Tech 2. Our base is under attack. Trying to chase the sniper. Flame is putting in damage on these pads. Focusing the units. Going to be killing the air pad as well. Douglas now out. Hijack almost ready. Couple of snipers here. A leader point from Rock. Oh, great stone from the cliff from the spine. I'm going to save that sniper there. Mirage says put a lot into this. Bunker drop ready. You know, all he needs is like a sniper in the bunker. Deal with rock snipers. Oh, fair bunker down. Rock has not killed any of these. And the garrisons are available from Rante as well. This is tough. More hell bring us on their way. Did take a power node away from him as well. Both those harvesters have been taken down. And an expansion is now on the way up. For Almirante 99. Another pad falls. Douglas now gets his rocket launcher. We now have Flamers on the back mini as well. More and more snipers in the mix. That garrison has been killed, taken out. So the snipers are now going to clean up the rest of the army. And looks like Almirante here slowing down his production. Armory coming up as he gets tech two. Stripping this side of the base. We got a siege to it. He built a siege to it. Gonna drop in the siege to it. He's going to be focusing down the snipers. Douglas on his way to the back. Got more flamers coming in. Bunker drop is back and ready. Actually, does not do a lot of damage to these snipers. <laughs> Insane. We got bunker up top now. Supply pad constructed. Sniper dies. He's got scouts on rocks expansions. That bunker has now been taken out. Dispersion nozzles upgraded for rock generation. Supply pad constructed. Under enemy assault. Can anyone assist? Supply pad constructed. No, Almirante has to think about something else. Has to even push this main and crush the economy enough that rock can't get the sentinel. Or prepare for it. Is Rock saving for a fair generator? It's not building this pad slot. There it is, the fair generator going down. Just like we saw against EOD. Right, he's going to be playing for that Sentinel. It's at least two or three minutes out. Combat station upgrade complete. Expansion up for Almirante. Airpad constructed. Smart missile researched. Right Our base is under attack. I'm gonna drop in the middle to save his leader because there is some snipers there. And Rock is going to secure all of those, all of his mini bases. He now has 51 population versus 27. Got a couple of Mantises coming out. The base gets smoked, but Douglas will be able to pick that guy off. Mantises are here. They don't have the shield yet. Douglas is going to be stealing one, and the drop turret comes down as well. Kept the Nightingale alive, though. There goes the hill. Surprised he didn't go. Uh... Hmm. Once that leader dead, and he's going to be dead as well. Douglas gets taken down by the Mantis and Johnson. Rock gets his expansion. About to get a leader point. Triple garage for Almirante, here, but the Flamers are harassing all of his pads. Minis as well. Generator coming up for him. 
Let me move the mantises up. Take these snipers out. A crazy game. So that expansion is going to be focused down. A couple of mantises down on defense. Bad generator. Is it? Bad generator for Almirante have been upgraded now. Picking off these units. Where's Douglas? Where are you, boy? There he is, all the way on the left mini. Coming back out, Rock. Saving up for that Sentinel. As you can see, just over the 10 minute mark. He's about to drop that in on the expansion, and there it comes. On defense. Gonna be saving his own expansion, actually. Seems like Almirante isn't prepared for it at this point. I mean, all he has to do is build up a, a decent amount of mantises, connect a good Mac blast with the Sentinel, and he should be able to kill it. Wolverine's coming out now as well. Is Douglas is back out on the map, and Rock controls two power nodes. Unfortunate, his air pad gets taken down. No watchtower, so you can't see up there. Someone swipe those fly boys. We're focusing Douglas. Douglas is gonna fall again. That's kinda like Rock's key key tool there. Gets the hijack off before. But doesn't look like he's going to make it. Thank you for the sub, Nathan. 25 months, my boy. There is the Mac. EMP Mac comes down probably a bit prematurely. Rocky's going to counter with the drop turret. Save some time. That is a long stun. The Sentinel will be able to not escape. The Sentinel falls. And Rock has nothing. The expansion is going to get taken down. And as I mentioned earlier, one Mac Blast connects with that. And it is dead. Expansion falls. Looks like Almirante might be going 1 0 up in this series. Uh, Rock has, almost has enough for another Sentinel, but I don't think it's ready yet. Not quite. Sentinel network dropped on top of the army. Our base is under attack. Hill goes down from Johnson as well. Douglas is back. Guess. I guess Rock feels like he can hold. He's a good enough player to know if the game's over or not. But I'm manning this base down. Main falls, Almirante takes the advantage in the series, 1-0 up. Frontier, going to be the next game. <clears throat> Last time we saw from Tiamir.
we just hit 2.8k subscribers on YouTube as well. Just waiting for these two players to pick their leaders now. In these grand finals, I'm around tier 2-0 up. And we have a launcher body here. Rogen has locked in. We're ready to get started in game two of the grand finals. Forge versus Johnson. Almirante going to be pulling out Forge early in the series here. Rock Jen going to be playing Johnson. Might see the same thing, really. The bunker push with the Flamers. Jackrabbit opener from Rock Generation. The double supply pad as well. Exactly the same from Almirante 99. Supply pad constructed. Jackrabbit, for Go for the mini steal, Almirante is. Looks like Rock going for his own power in the middle and Marines to the side powers as well. Rock sees it. Yeah, he sees that happening. So he has enough time to react before something crazy happens. But we do get generator fed from Almirante. Triple supply pad from Rock Generation. Supply pad constructed. base in the middle picked up for rock there is the war council fifth from both players Forgehog versus johnson Arx from almirante i guess he's doing pretty much the same thing he did last time thank you for the follow he's machine our base is under attack we stealing a lot of blue on this side as well away from rock Arx in the middle for Rock. Almirante was quicker on the mark there, though. Forge's Warthog on the way out, 40 seconds, and a Flamer on the way as well. Johnson, 44 seconds away. Here is Rock coming for the mini steal. We're under attack from enemy vehicles, over. Rock Jen, however, he does take both middle minis. Almirante takes both of Rock's minis because he's going for another push all in here. He's opting to go for the mini in the middle. Did he scout? Mini base he scouted that one. He scouted that one. Yeah, Marie Flame is just going through the middle now. Orchog is out and ready. And that is where the barracks of Rock Generation is. Johnson's out and we got an early turret on the main base. For Rock Generation. Oh, Dog's here, though. Probably would uh, pull the Flamers into the Inspire. Bunker drop at the back. Uh, that is where Almirante's armies are pushing, pulling from. And another two minis picked up by Almirante. Flames in the bunker. Far jog out. Smart missile ready. 
Underground has been researched. Almirante now building a turret. Did secure four mini bases. Looking at clearing one out as well. Gonna lose his barracks there. Not opting to come back and defend that. Anvil Brown goes down on Johnson. He's lost half of his shield. Fortock is going to chase, but he will run all the way back to the bunker. Oh, will he? Heel's going to go down instead. Mines uh, on the exit up to the top. Bunker goes on top of the mines. Going to explode them. And Johnson's just going to hop back in. Get his shield back. Second generator now being upgraded for Almirante. Nice five Hellbringers queued up on that. Mante doing well at trying to defend the mini base there. Picks up one of his own. This is five mini bases to one. He's now working on his power nerd. Another turret coming up for Rock. Johnson is here to help defend. Technically, this is a an offense. This mini was stolen away from him. He will be able to clear that out. Rock Jen does have two power nodes to his name. Jackrabbit's now coming out for Almirante. Building a few Jackrabbits to defend against the Flamers. Second generator now coming up for Rock Jen. Choosing not to get rid of his armory. I think it makes sense getting rid of the armory when you have a bunker to save the Johnson, but there's two out in the middle. Almirante did get rid of his armory, and he's now upgrading to tech two. Got the armory coming back up on the mini on the left. Right, 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 the right. Mini base gets cleaned out, but Forge Hog will be here to try and snatch it away. Both players going to fight over this. Almirante going to get it. Rock was not watching there. Johnson doubling the Rack Rabbits. Smart Missile kills one, almost kills the other one with his machine gun. And Rock has Flamers on the other minis. Garage coming up. Rock Gen about 150 power away from Tech 2. Manuses do beat hogs, but hogs do have the mobility and a forge hog as support. The enemy has captured our power node. Getting hit by enemy vehicles. Do you read? Armory has been recycled as it's about to lose that mini. That mini did get cleaned out as well. Almirante is on the case to clear it out. Rock is about to get tech 2. Grabs that beacon shield, immediately being researched. Garage going down and both places trading minis here, really. Another one for Rock. About to kill another one as well. And we got a Kodiak drop push to the main base. If he's going to separate them. Johnson's here. Doesn't quite have his upgrade yet. He's about to get it. Needs that bunker. Oh my god. Johnson's going to die. Oh, he died before he gets in the bunker. And he just got his upgrade as well. The timing couldn't have been better for Almirante. Fortog has lost his shield. He's providing vision on this base. Scabbomb goes on the base, but the Fortog needs to get out of there. Mine's going down to protect. Marines coming in. We got a Cyclops on the Kodiaks. Now, one Cyclops will take a while to kill these Kodiaks. Another one on the way. Fortog inbound as well. 
they are putting in work on this ex this main base of rock. Oh, the mag. Mac comes down on the Forgehog. The Forgehog is going to die. The mine actually went off and killed the Cyclops. Johnson's out. He can provide a heal to the base. Kodiak hopping up. Rock did the best he could possibly do in that situation. Lost a few pads. Mainly just a gem. Minis, once again, trading place. Johnson back out. Farchok did die. Rock Jane is about to have five mini bases to one. Amarante has picked up an expansion. He does not have the armory back. And we do not see much of an army from him. Supply pad constructed. A weak base. A few hogs out. That rock does have a couple of cyclops. He will now be on Mantis as well. It's like he's saving up for an expansion. No, nope. he spent his money. Spent his money on Summit. Or the gen. Yeah, the generator. There's the Forge Hog. It's Armory back up. Generator constructed. Mantis liberating supply pad upgrade complete. Garage constructed. Oh. They picked on the Pushed by rock. He dropped the bunker. It's not close enough to the base though to do any damage. Uh, Rock does have three power nodes pushing up onto this expansion. Almirante only on 20 population. Johnson, get off my screen. Pushed by Almirante. Probably to the main base of Rock. He has enough for a Grizzly drop very shortly. Seems to be his play. He's got the Cyclops coming back. Farchog's in the middle. Looks like Farchog's going back to defend. Yeah, he turned around. Rock left. His flame is open. Good anvil around. I'm going to be taking out a couple of flamers there. The Hogs are back to clean this up. And he can still make the Grizzly Drop play he wanted to if he can get around this army. Oh, there's the Mac. Oh, I'm going to connect in with a Forge. It doesn't do too much damage, but the stun does last a very long time. Bunker comes down. Cyclops is going to be getting in the bunkers. Grizzly Drop comes down on defense. There is the heal from Johnson. The Scar Bomb just only going to be hitting that bunker there. Forchok has no shield. They never learn. Jonathan's weak, but there is the mech overcharge. Look how fast they are. Our Cyclops is here. They are affected by mech overcharge. Good anvil round right in the middle of the Cyclops. One Grizzly has fallen. Forchok very weak as well. Another Grizzly's about to fall. Grizzly, other Cyclops goes down. Johnson is weak, but so is Forge. Both players dancing around each other at the moment. This is where your micro really comes in. Johnson's going to fall. Matt is going to fall. Forge Hawk does survive, and so does one Grizzly. We now have to deal with the uh, this. See, oh, Kodiaks. Lamarata has scouted that expansion. 
We got more Cyclopses coming out. Nightingale's here, gonna be saving the Grizzly. We do have Lotus Mine now. Available for Almirante. Amblerown gonna be going down on the Mantis. Cody X are supporting. Heavy Metal goes down on the army. Brock gets his expansion up and built. More and more Cyclops dying. Almirante almost has enough to go tech free. Swear the game will get out of hand for Brock. Mini base with the barracks on does fall. Air pad coming up for Rock on the expansion. He still has the double garage. It's like a generator going to get picked off as well. We've lost the power node. Just healing up his hog and the one grizzly that is left. Our base is under attack. I can get ready. Let me know where I'm needed. I'm under attack from ground troops. Over. Lead of power ready. Mini base complete. Vehicle versus vehicle. Johnson's back out. Bunker's gonna get a good stun there. But Johnson's gonna have to hop in it. Drop his heel, hop in. The enemy has been Smoke gonna go down on the bunker. Looks like he's gonna opt to run away instead. It's Kodiak, so I in range. Besieging out the base. We got the turret on the base. Nightingale's coming out. Looks like he's making a push towards the Kodiak. Heal comes down for him. The army smoke's coming down in the heel. There is a Mac on top. Scatter bomb as well. Everything's trapped there. Both players stuck. Smoke's coming down from everybody. Lotus Mines from Almirante. Vulture out for Almirante. He's tech free. This looks like it is a tech free Forge Hog. Heal coming down for Almirante now. Why ability from the Vulture in the middle. Another bunker coming down. Bunkers come up so quick. Forge not dying. 68 population versus 77. Rock can now go tech free as well. Mech overcharge comes in. He's going to push towards the Kodiaks. Do have vultures in the mix though. I don't see Rock coming out on top in this fight. Good anvil round on top of all of the manises. They're all dead. Almirante just wiped the floor with this army. Has the expansion up. Almirante got a third built. It is half health. Tech free now for Rock. Doesn't quite have the economy Almirante does. One more Kodiak left is being set down. That air pad going to get taken out. We got three vultures. Mech overcharge has been used. Mac and Scatterbomb have been used as well. There is a huge heavy metal on the army. Anvil round. Wire abilities from the vultures. 28 population for Rock Gen. 76 for Almirante. 99. Lotus mines on the entrance slash exit as well. Johnson is underground. He's bunkering in. And it looks like the expansion is going to fall. Heal goes down on it. Half on the army, half on the base. Not a lot here though. He cannot deal with these vultures. Enemy 
And Rock Jenny is going to resign. Almirante looking very strong on UNSC. 2 0 up in this series. Remember, guys, this is a best of seven as well. So if it goes all seven games, there is only eight UNSC leaders and there is no repeats. So only one leader will not be used from each player. We're going to go to Rift for game number three. Almirante 2-0 up in the grand finals in this UNSC only $300 tournament. And just want to make another shout out to Stone Cold Killer who did donate the full prize pool for this tournament. And here we go. We're going to be seeing Kinsana versus Anders. On the rift. Supply pad constructed. Jack, open it from route. Supply pad upgrade complete. Almonte has picked up the mini to the right. Gonna be doing the exact same. Generator constructed. Mini base complete. Sharing, splitting the power down the middle, really. Constructed. Monte has both of his mini bases. We're putting a supply pad down. Supply pad constructed. A barracks up for rock. And one mini base. Supply pad constructed. Mini base complete. Mini base ready to use. Our base is under attack. Already a few snipers coming out. Almirant's here building jackrabbits. Second gen up for him as well. He's going to be building jackrabbits into these snipers. Supply pad constructed. Rax is up. Our base is under attack. They're trying to take me down with supply pad upgrade complete. 
Is it just one, two jackrabbits? Oh, let's pick one off here. Uh, Rock has red line. He's picking up his second power node now. Gets rid of the barracks for a supply pad uh, when he sees multiple jackrabbits from Almiranta. Jackrabbits in the garrison. Uh, Jackrabbits harassing the garrison. The sniper in the garrison. And we're running away from that flamer as well. Nine marines and grenade throw has been queued up. Picking up his third power node. There's grenade throw. I'm around to say going tech two behind this. He's pushing up to the main of rock gen. He's going to start harassing his only generator. With the four jackrabbits. There's the armory coming up for Almirante as well. I'll be getting a Tech 2 Douglas. Okay, throw goes down. And these red line marines here battle are going to get buffed on that marine as well. It's about to be four power nodes for Rock Jan. Garage coming up. Douglas coming out. Second garage coming up as well. Oh, the grenade comes off. He will not be able to decap that nerd. It's going to be saved. More grenades come down. Take down another two jackrabbits there. Snipers here as well. Rock has every angle covered. Just Almirante has tech two. Way before him. Rock picking up an expansion. Upgrading his generator as well to further excel his economy in this game. While well, Almirante going to be spamming Warhawks, getting that Tech 2 to go. Can be five power nerds for Rock. Spanction about 12 seconds out. Rock can now go tech two. They can go to combat tech. And get red line again on all of these Marines. Firebase constructed. Okay, that's what he's opting for. Here's the push to the mini. Supply pad upgrade complete. Six minutes in and Almirante is going to be taking some of these power nodes back. Expansion gets picked up in front of Rock. Uh, that is just a cheeky player by Almirante really, but Rock is not falling for it. He wants to build the expansion to distract Rock, bring him back and waste time. Uh, and then just cancel it. But Rock wasn't falling for that. But he's going to be running away. Do have a Kodiak? Out on the ledge. I'm getting shot at by ground troops. Hogs so pushing forward. There is combat tech. He's going to turn around now. Gets the red line glitch. Our defense coming down. Douglas is not going to slam that. They are going to be running away though. For the expansion. Supply pad constructed. 60 seconds the buff lasts. And this expansion falling very quickly. Our base is under attack. Almirante opting to pick up the left expansion now, but that has also been scouted by Rock. 
who is getting his leader out and upgraded. Nightingale. Nightingales as well to heal up all of these marines. Upgrade complete. Oh, come on. Now I'm being shelled. There's Kinsana pushing up. Looks like Sentinel Synergy has now been picked for Almirante 99. This base gets denied, drops her, it goes down on the Kodiak. Kinsana's going to try and melt the metal of the Kodiaks. Flame Wall goes down on one. Almirante gets an expansion up on the left, but there is Marines there. Two of these Kodiaks are going to die. Oh, we got to kill it. Going to go back. Marines are almost dead as well, but we do have three Nightingales healing them up. Douglas is here, another Kodiak at the back, and we have an anti-infantry turret also. Hot Dog comes down, but misses Douglas. It's unfortunate, and he's going to be stealing one of those. Even the drop comes down with red line. Insano has lost her shield. Oh, that Douglas is gone. He dead. Kodiak under assault from enemy troops. Kodiak here, Great sir. work, mate. Wow, Famasia, thank you. Appreciate it. Hope you're enjoying the tournament. It's been a long ass day. It's worth it for these games. Almirante did secure his expansion. That has been upgraded. Rock is on 90 population versus 61. Enemy fire here. He's pushing up to Almirante's main, though. Got a couple of turrets up. Got a lot going on around the base at the moment. A couple of Kodiaks going to be falling. Uh, ego tick, so when you pick red line as a leader point, uh, you get it for 60 seconds on any units that are freshly built. But there is a glitch with combat tech, uh, the upgrade for marine. So if you get grenade for it and then you get combat tech, you get another 60 seconds of red line on all the marines. And that's what you saw. They basically get the buff again. So they get the buff when they first come out, first produced. Uh, and then the Marines get the buff when combat tech is researched. Supply pad upgrade complete. Consigner got a shield back. Rock's going to be making another push to the base. He has a big economy. He has reinforcements now. Just a big drop should end this army. And there it is. Big drop on the army. Consigner's going to be chasing it down. And this drop is just so good. Couple of Cyclopses coming in to seal the deal. Almirante losing everything. Nowhere near fording that Sentinel. They're about to get the point for it. Base is locked. More drops coming in. There is the Flame Warhogs. Ops in for Sentinel Network. He knows he cannot afford the Sentinel. And he knows he has to do something to save his base here. He'll be stealing the tank. But it, 98 population to 41. And Rock's economy is just so good. But Almirante does not know that. Another Kodiak comes out. Got one on the right again as well. Douglas lost his shield. The drop turret is going to stun him. He's going to get taken down once more.
point earned. Big Inferno going down on the main base. Our base is under attack. It's like Almirante is out of this one. Morante is broke. Watchtower constructed. Cannot afford the Sentinel even if he wanted to. Couple of codex to the right hand side. He'll go down on the one pad and the main for a long in this. Rock has five power nerds. Our base is under attack. Napalm across the main. Insana being hunted down. They upgrades. Level 2 coming out while Rock builds vultures in the background. And Kasana is going to fall once more. Our allies are in trouble. Supply pad upgrade complete. Airpad constructed. Complete. Our base is under attack. Zana's back. Over. Super fast with red line. Gonna be stripping the base one more time. Go, we got five vultures on the left. Enemy has captured our power node. is still trying to save it for that sentinel. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, <laughs> that disappeared. Rock Generation pulls the game back. Two on. Mirage, game four.
crumbs. I had to cancel last minute. Mm. Oh, rip. The unwinnable matchup! Kinsano versus Forge. Rock must be looking happy with himself. He's probably haven't seen this today. Jack up it open up a rock. Generate a second. I mean, we saw this, what was it, on Ashes between these two earlier in the week. Uh, but it was reverse. Amaranto was Forge, Rock was Kinsano, and he actually did pretty well, almost winning that game. Mirage, though, different map. Different breed, and the leaders are now swapped. Once again, we got a standoff in the middle. And both players going to be fighting around the power here. Marine comes in. Rocket almost losing that Jackrabbit to Almirante. here. What Jane fared. Mini base constructed. One mini picked up. For Almirante, here. We do have that War Council 5th as well. Two singles, picked up for Rock now. Supply pad constructed. Sound off, Marines. I'm back for the mini. Mini base complete. Our base is under attack. And if for being researched, Valmorante picked up the double as well. Mini base ready to use. And we're round ready for the four tribe. We got barracks in the middle for Valmorante. Base is under attack. Supply pad constructed. Barracks constructed. Supply pad upgrade complete. Receiving fire from ground troops. Too many being harassed by the Fortog and Rock Generation. Still, no one picks up the power. Stun comes down on the Forge. That won't last very long, though, and Amaranta doesn't have his army here. Oh, the Avil round comes out just in time as the units exit the mini base. Big fight in the middle. This mini base is almost dead. More helping is coming out. Forge has lost his shield. A place pretty similar population. Most of it is treading in there. Looks like Rock does have more in the middle. Under 
more weak blue units. The Forge Hog is a huge problem for armor out here. Complete. Another good anvil round. Grenades going off. We'll not be able to kill that Forge Hog. Does not have his shield still. Our base is under attack. That's all he can do, really. Just keep spamming Marines, Flamer. And Rock's got the Forge Hog, Flamer, and Marines. It's just a much better combo. Double Mini finally falls. That Forge Hog is going to get his shields back. I'm going to say it's just trailing more units in one by one by one, and they're just all dying to this massive army from Rock. Tries wiggling out there. Does have drop turret on third, but Forge Hog running away. Might be able to kill it with a drop turret if he can catch it, but he's down to 27 population now. Half of what Rock has, and the Forge Hog is going to get away. Double mini now belongs to Rock. Rogen can now go attack two. There's a drop to it. Onto Forge, two Marines. Throw grenades at him. Helldrop comes down. This Forge looks dead. Gone. Generator constructed. Our base is under attack. The enemy has captured our power node. Marines under assault from enemy ground forces. Keep it for me. Generator upgrade complete. Our base is under attack. Right now, smoothly into tech two, getting the Forge Hog back out. One garage up. Still building Hellbringers. Might go for dispersion again. He does love his dispersion. Runs here building Jackrabbits. Well, he's nowhere near tech two. Our base is under attack. Jackrabbit fueled, tuned, and ready to go. Garage constructed. Forge are coming across to kill the rabbits. Almirante can now go attack two while defending his mini bases with Jackrabbits. Gonna lose this one actually. Our base is under attack. All the flamers should die. Forge is picking off so many units in the middle. We've got hogs out now as well. Hell drops ready. Almirante is gonna pick that up. Hell drop comes down on the forge hog. He's not tech two yet. Grenade's gonna connect. They're chasing him. The jackrabbits are chasing him. Like he uh, did get his tech two upgrade. Gonna be too strong. Monte gets tech two. Oh wow, the scout bomb on top of the forge hog. Almonte's gonna walk straight into that. Our allies are in trouble. Mini base constructed. It's vehicle versus vehicle. Supply pad upgrade complete. Barracks coming up for Almirante. Not going to be making a push to the main. There is no turrets here. It's going to do some damage. Marines under fire from enemy ground troops. Going to be denying that barracks. That's Almirante's only production right now. Not until it comes down again, not going to get any stuns this time. Supply pack constructed. Combat mechanics researched. 
Combat mechanics, research for armor and take. Gonna be spamming marines into this. <laughs> they are gonna be healing some of the minis as well. Almirante has to come home to defend. Ram's going in from the Hogs. Our base is under attack. We're under attack from enemy vehicles, over. Marines under hostile vehicle fire. Do you read? Supply pack comes down. I'm going to get a good stun. Another round comes down on the army as well. All oh, the ramp going in. That flame hog drop is dead. Our base is under attack. I'm on say it has no money. Supply pad upgrade Less than 200 in the bank. Rock's sitting on a lot and he's going to tie the series up at 2 2. The unlosable matchup. We're going to go to Vault next. Oops. What the fuck? I ain't click that. That was taking forever. Nobody's picked Cutter yet. Remember, there is no bands in the best of seven. So we had Anders Johnson, Kinsana, Forge from Rock. Johnson, Forge, Anders, Kinsana from Almirante. So both played the same leaders, just in different order. We got Cutter, Serena, Isabel left. Yep. Yeah. Gonna be getting Cutter from Almirante. This is Isabel. Isabel. From Rock Generation. Big map. Could be Hog Player. Are also good on this map. Very fast. Supply pad constructed. <clears throat> I'm once again for a mini steel. Supply pad upgrade complete. Doesn't look like he'll be able to get it. Rock's gonna pick that up. I think he knows Almirante too well at this point. Our base is under attack. Picking up the power there. Jackrabbit's going to chase him. Supply pad constructed. Jackrabbit under fire from ground troops. Small engagement over at the power. 
Do I crap it ticking? And bit of damage there while he tries and steals the power away from him. There's another jackrabbit from Rock. Comes back in to steal some power away from him again. Supply pad constructed. Supply pad constructed. Amante is on a double gen. And Rock is going to be opting for the Jackrabbit play. Picks up another single. Almirante got the double and the single on the left hand side. No edge. There is um there's eight UNSC leaders. Our base is under this, there was at the start of this game Jerome uh, Isabel. I said the other one earlier as well. And Serena. Jerome, Cutter, Isabel, and Serena was left from both players, but now we're seeing Cutter vs. Isabel. We might see the reverse on Ashes. Isabel versus Cutter. Base is under attack. Supply pad constructed. Double, another double picks up for Almirante. Barracks coming up for him. Not going to work too well against the Jackrabbits. Oh wait, never mind, he's getting tech two. It's gonna be building Cyclops again. Rock is now on a double gen, that's been upgraded. Expansion built two. Don't really feel I got my cutter mask on. It's very hot. This double will fall in very quickly. Is Almirante in tech two? Gonna be putting a supply pad down first. Yeah, and it is just the Cyclops. Grenade for being researched by Almirante. Pull a decoy coming down on the Jackrabbits. Next for four of them while the Attack the Marines. Marines gonna miss the grenades. Kinda of just a game of luck for Almirante at the moment. Our base is under attack. Can we get some anti-air support ASAP? And Almirante gonna be picking up his first power node in this game. Gets rid of that supply pad on the mini because the Jackrabbits will be able to clear it out quite quickly. The air pad up now. Bought armor out to 99. Expansion up. And tech 2 almost for rock generation. So, is that double barracks for him as well? Rock chain with the double barracks. Nightingale's coming out for Almirante. here. Gonna engage with the Jackrabbits. The mini's open. Rock picks it up as he drives away. Armory constructed. Armory for Rock. Mini base complete. Supply pad constructed. Marines under fire from enemy ground troops. Rock Jen picking up his first power node. Looks like Almirante did clear that out or Rock cancelled it. It's coming all the way across. Cyclops, Marines with combat tech and Nightingales. And we do have flamers from Rock. Have got it in for 
More flame is coming out. Looks like he might have dispersion nozzles now as well. Yep, he does. Thank you. Almost getting taken out. I'm going to take him out while Almirante pushes up to the main. Nightingale comes out, and there is two turrets there. Mac Blast on top of the army. Wow, they actually put in some work on the blue army there. Combat tech push not quite working for Almirante. Forced away by the Flamers. Point earned. So a point in the back. Guess his expansion built as well. Got double garage down now. We got Warhawks coming out. Has to swap out of infantry because of the flamers. Oh yeah, Siege come down on the expansion while Rock's not looking. Archer missile as well. There goes the satchel mines. Looks like this base is gonna fall. Not quite enough damage. Uh, but we do have a push by Rock to the expansion of Almirante as well. Yeah, that expansion is gone. Alice is out now. Does not have her upgrade yet. And we got Hogs to counter the Flamers over at the expansion. Smoke going down. Nightingale gets picked off. That is hijack for Alice, who is comfortably sat in the garrison. Nightingale here. Show me where you're base is under attack. Sorry, coming up on this base. Nightingale gonna get picked off. We got combat tech here with a nightingale as well. They're gonna get healed up nicely. Double mini being focused down now, as well as the single that just got cleared out. Rock also has a flamer on the mini on the bottom. The special nozzle's actually putting in work on these mini bases. Basically starving Almirante. The funds here. We'll be seeing Jerome in a second. Our allies are in trouble. Oh, these Marines are going to get melted. Oh, the Flamers are melting the Marines. Decoy comes down as well. Salmarante might just be making a big swap into hogs. Supply pad constructed. Turret constructed. Have a lot of hogs out on the map. Upgrade complete. Turret arms out. Hijack researched. Flamers getting taken away. Marines ready to serve. Mini base complete. Mini base complete. Our base is under attack. Double mini being pressed by Almirante after losing his. But he does have an expansion built and upgraded. Rock does not right now. Mac Blast is back up. He connected very well with the first one. Hogs out on the map. Complete. Just one Cyclops from Rock. Our base is under attack. Nightingale under assault from enemy troops. Need support. I'm gonna take the double and run away. Our allies are in trouble. Look, plays pretty similar on economy, population. Base does get scouted by the Marine in the garrison as Rock picks it up. Leader power ready. As in double barracks again, Archer missiles is ready. Sound off, Marine. Supply pad upgrade complete. Mini base complete. Gonna be smoking the double mini. 
We're on to saving up for summer. Free care blue in the bank. Plus S part comes down. ODST drop comes down. Mac on top of the ODST mines. Gonna count with those. Good defense player by Rock. Archer missile comes down on top though, so those pads are dead anyway. And Close S part will be able to take down all of these turrets. A lot of night girls. Alice on her way back. Because uh, likelihood is. ODST assault group will be dropped next. Our base is under attack. Supply pad constructed. Attack from enemy has gone. All the turrets are dead. And most of the pads are dead as well. Two gens left. I'm gonna say can go tech free is gonna clean out rocks expansion as well. I'm gonna say all over the map right now. Supply pad upgrade more and more help bringers coming out for rock generation this expansion is going down rock will be left on one base once more and this one base does not have a lot of pads on it Uh. Is under attack. Thank you for the follow, Lamb. Supply pad upgrade complete. Now you get a flamer. Eh? It's the army composition from Rock. His base is really weak. We got a double air pad coming up from him. That's tech free. He's upgrading to tech free as well. Plays out one double. He's come over to defend his double. Does have a vet one Alice as well. But that mini base is gonna go down. Our allies are in trouble. Big fight over on the right as well. Flamers versus Warhogs. A one Cyclops. Oh man, so once again with 2k blue. Looks like he's going for another push on the main. Is there is no turrets. The pads are weak. Just gets tech free. Nightingale coming out. Mines go down. By rock there. Doesn't want to drop it because Alice is nearby. And he does not want his tank to be stolen. Another mini will fall over there. I'm around to picking up both of the doubles. Attack. Rock picking up another single. All our action on the map. Rock has his expansion up. Not actually building on it. No players with reinforcements. Share Almorant are going to be the first to get that. Leader power ready. Turret constructed. Alright, here is the big push to the main now. Supply pad constructed. Alice all the way in the center. Does not have this right side covered with any vision whatsoever from Rock Jan. It's going to be a huge push on the main. Got 2k blue. Archer missile across the back. Air pads are going to go down. The heel goes down from Rock. That Chen just absolutely disintegrates in the Archer missile. Smoke goes down on the turrets. Oh, his team mines go down, and Rock is on his way back. Mac Glass once again hits the middle of the army. Great connection there. Alice is back. Mines are back up. Drop them on the exit. Oh, he could chase them for a good slam. Oh, his tier assault group comes down on the expansion of Rock Gen. Rock loses another mini base and his expansion once more in this game. Vet one Cyclops now as well. Putting in the work. Rock is cleaning out all the mini bases though. 
Looks like he left his flamers. Oh, this gets a good slam down. Drops her, it comes down on her. Allow Almirante some time to run away. There's two weak turrets on the base. And the ST Assault Group going to be driving around the map, clearing out more mini bases. Doesn't look like Almirante is going to be losing this one. Hill goes down on Almirante's troops. Mine goes down. Slam goes down. The enemy has captured our power node. Catches the Marines. Jerome's weak though. Alice should be able to clean her out. Fed base now coming up for Almirante. Jerome dies. Falls at the hands of Alice. Rock trying to take his expansion again. And chase down over here while trying to kill another double mini. All the minis are about to belong to Almirante once more. Supply pad upgrade complete. Hostile ground troops are trying their luck. Almirante on 94 population out of 100. Rock generation only on 68. Had these gills for a while. How's Alice? But nothing really of substance. Almirante has been sat under this expansion for a long time. It does have upgraded anti infantry turrets as well. This has been scouted by Rock. A couple more mini bases going to get taken down. After that one mini base, Almirante will have every mini base on the map. Going to be picking up a fourth base as well on Rock's side and making another push down the left side there. On Armory coming up on the close side mini. He's going to prepare for another push on the main base of Rock Generation. Cyclops under fire from enemy ground troops. Turret constructed. Leader power ready. Archer missiles is ready. 2k blue. Probably another close air support. This should be enough to seal it. Rock Gen sitting on two leader points. There it is. Archer missile across the base. Taking out more pads. Close air support coming down above Almirante's army that comes in. Mac Blast is ready. Or oh, decoy gets used. Rock coming in. No Mac yet. This base is being stripped. Oh, this T-Drop comes down. I'm under attack from enemy this base is red bar. The map comes down on top. But the mines are over here. Oh, they actually pops the mines from that. The tank's going to get jacked. Rock staying in the game. But he's about to lose his main. Heal goes down for Almirante's forces. Base going to fall. And we should see a reside very shortly from Rock. Spartan is on low health. Be careful. Wow. Our allies are in trouble. An army of flamers from this barracks is going to be taking out Almirante's third. Uh, Rock only has a weak base here now. Our base is under attack. Where is he going? Going to go take the high ground. He doesn't want to fight. Low down. I'm under Supply pad constructed. Looks like he's coming back to defend. Our base is under attack. The enemy has captured our power node. Captured our power node. Leader power ready. Rock's hurting. Where do you want me? These two are playing mind games with each other. Marines under assault from enemy ground. Our 
base is under attack. Marines under fire from enemy ground troops. Supply pad constructed. Enemy has captured our power node. I mean, Rock should have resigned so we can go to the next game, but it doesn't look like he's going to. ODST Assault Group is back up and ready for Almiranta. A huge economy from him. Man, so upgrading that base to tech two. Our base is under attack. Leader power ready. Air pad constructed. Leader power ready. Turret constructed. They sent a Spartan after me. Supply pad upgrade complete. Like Almirante going for another push to the main base. Leader power ready. The enemy has captured our power node. I need help against these vehicles. Over. Supply pad upgrade complete. Mini base complete. Enforcements level two researched. Mini base complete. ODST drop. And an action missile on the expansion, he's only just upgraded. And metal comes down on the tank with the heal on the base as well. Counter heal from Almirante. Expansion falls. Nightingale taking fire. I need support ASAP. Oh. Mm. Alice gets bit too. It's an accomplishment. To be a nice Mac. There it is. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, it's disgusting. Drop 60 pop. Alice gets a nice slam off as well. ODST comes back in. Good job, he's got drops. Neural implant researched. Leader power ready. And Rock is gonna resign. Almirante takes the lead. 3-4. 3-2. Ah, these two always go to the final game. Game six. <sighs> mm. 
I mean, Rock might pull out the cutter here. Since it's match point Almirante here. Serena versus Cutter. I don't know, maybe Almirante is going to give Rock this one and we'll see a Jerome mirror. Jerome or Izzy. On Bedrock next. Pad constructed. <clears throat> Our players going for the same type of mini steel. Around here, picking up the power in the middle. Jackrabbit is going to say hello as they pass in the center. Look at that. Span the same way. Yeah, Rock's gonna grab his own here. And he's gonna get Almirante's as well. Almirante's gonna lose out. There you have it. Both minis belong to Rock. I mean, Almirante's hanging around because he knows at some point Rock might actually cancel this. Just go for the one mini push. Almirante did get all the power there. Got another Jackrabbit coming out as well. Looks like Rock's getting the power on the left hand side. Pad constructed. Generator upgrade complete. Just gonna see a supply pad. Usually does see the point in wasting that trip to attempt to get that mini. Just for the supply pad. Normally you see some crazy. Uh, both players going to be saving up for this mini. Mante spent his money. And Rock is going to get it. That currently is four mini bases to one. In favour of Rock Generation. I'm going to be spamming Jackrabbits. And so is Rock. Rock Jackrabbits from both players. Base is under attack. Mini base complete. Jackrabbit, ready to let loose, sir. Marines under hostile vehicle fire. Do you read? support drone? Being researched early by Almirante. He did get all the power though. And he's making a push to the main. Almirante is going for it. It's going in for the kill. We got barracks up from Amaranta on the mini steel as well. Cryer troopers on the way. He's backing off. Backed off. We got watchtower defense for Amaranta. He's pushing in. Oh, great jackrabbits for him. Cry Troopers on the way. He's trying to pick off this Jackrabbit, but all four of them are missing it. What the hell? Support drone 20 seconds out for Rock Gen. He's got his Jackrabbits harassing the barracks, but one of the Cry Troopers is now making it to the base. Turret 15, 14 seconds out, but that's getting focused down by the Jackrabbits. Cry Trooper has lost its shield. This is not looking good for Rock right now. Our base is under attack. Jackrabbit, reporting for duty. Enemy ground troops will not leave me alone. Heavy pad hats being frozen. We're gonna get a cry trooper across the other side of the base as well. Jackrabbits are in. 
But there goes the ice blocks. Gonna be denying Rock Gen. I'm pushing into the cryo troopers. Gonna be slowing them down as well so the jackrabbits can actually hit their shots. The heavy pad has almost fallen. 45 population versus 42. Rock has a decent amount of jackrabbits here now though. No, oh, Rock is cleaning all of Almirante's jackrabbits out. Doesn't get the upgraded heavy pad either. Almirante dropping a lot of units. Losing all of his cryo troopers now as well, and Rocket is going to take advantage with these jackrabbits. Does actually manage to get the heavy pad. Could have been a wasted trip if he couldn't. Remember, Rock does have four mini bases. I'm going to not actually build on this one. Got rid of the barracks. Turret constructed. Leader point earned. And the second generator is going to be coming up for both players here. And Rock going to be taking the power nodes. Generator constructed. With these upgraded. Uh, uh, Red two rabbits. Supply pad constructed. Our base is under attack. Jackrabbit reporting for duty. ODSTs comes down on the mini. Rock going to be clearing those out. Can anyone get this flying pest off of me? Turret constructed. Leader power ready. Mini base complete. Rock's bringing his jackrabbits in. I guess Almirante's rabbits here. Our base is under attack. Jackrabbit under hostile fire. Over. Got a rally point on Rock's man. Mini base complete. Supply pad upgrade complete. Hey, Brock's going to the main base here. Our base is under Bison attack. coming out for Almirante. Hey, Brock going to be picking up an expansion. Supply pad constructed. He's going to scout the Bison. Probably going to be able to deny it as well. Trading minis again. I mean, needs minis desperately. Archer missiles come down on the mini base. Does not want that bison out. Garage constructed. He wasn't sure to know how far away the bison was from getting out. Command center upgrade complete. Supply pad upgrade complete. Mini base complete. Our base is under attack. The ODST is clearing the minis out now. Still a lot of jackrabbits. Rock just hits tech two. The enemy is ready. Supply pad upgrade complete. Expansion been upgraded. Generator down on that. Almirante upgrading his expansion as well. The players really fighting for these minis. But Rock Chen does have five power nodes to his name. Combat station upgrade complete. 
Supply pad constructed. That crew is flying around the map. I'm under fire here. Can anyone assist? Watchtower constructed. Uh, I'm about to just fly and pass the main and go to the expansion. Looks like Rock doing the same. Horning! Horning coming out from all around to. Is he just trying to get rid of this? Two Kodiaks up. More ADS is come down on the Kodiak. One Kodiak looks like it will fall. Second one's going to fall to the mines as well. Another one on the way out. We've got Hogs from Rock on the base. I almost had enough for Big Drop. Upgrade complete. Supply pad constructed. Armory constructed. There's the ODST assault group on the anti vehicle. So it's sighting all of the ice though. ODST mines go down. Turret will go down. Archer missile is ready as well. Oh, there's the big drop from Almirante. He's going to have two tanks in the mix versus two Cyclops, though. Going to chase him down. Oh, great action missile on top of the drop. That's all he needs. Take the drop out. And that's it for Almirante. Five power nerds, though. Brock's so good at holding all five nerds. I've seen it in multiple games now. Almiron says he's going to resign. We're going to go to a game seven. Back on bedrock. I think we're going to see Jerome vs. Jerome. Huh? This is it. These players once again, every single time, down to the wire. Fine margins. Amaranto has been best in Rock this week. Let's see if Rock can get the win now. All right, both players have two leaders left. Our rock has Serena Jerome. 
Almirante has Jerome Isabel. Both hard at work thinking who they're going to pick in this final game. All or nothing. Everything on the line. Hey, Technician, thank you for the gifted sub to Gaffinator. Both players actually forgot what leaders the view, so I just had to remind them. All right, guys, here we go. Grand Finals, final game. Isabel Best, Serena. No, Jerome. Wow. Oh, we got black screen. Wow, <laughs> that's how disappointing. What the fuck? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? <laughs> to message them like super quick everybody message them oh my god i gotta go on my phone to do it because the app sucks So much quicker doing it on your phone. Alright, we got him. Sorry about that.
All right, guys, here we go. The redo. Uh, we can see grand finals. Game number seven. Isabel versus Serena. Nobody loves Jerome today, considering he is undefeated in this tournament, I believe. Supply pad constructed. And here we go. Did he not open a unit? Oh, Marine. Marine came out very quickly. Jackrabbit opener from Almirante's Isabel. We don't have any more power income. Build some generators. Supply pad upgrade complete. All right, Rock has picked up both of his mini bases on the side. So Almirante working on his as well. What is this? Mini base complete. Supply pad constructed. And we're coming up for rock. Mini base complete. So on the mini, what's that technically pad fifth, right? Amarante going to be building the armory on his mini as well. Supply pad constructed. Armory constructed. Well, players have the armory out. Almirante did get a mini steal on the back mini. Barracks up. Bison out. It's like a tech one battle from Rock. Alex on our way too. We're going to get barracks from Almirante. Who knows? Nope. Not today. Already with the power node in the middle. Mines are there though from Almirante. Rock is avoiding those. A really good power node to have. Watchtower constructed. There's the late barracks. Ice blocks goes down. If it goes down in that position, I guess it means Rock does not want to be pushing up. Like he's just trying to secure the nerd, but looks like he dropped them on the mines in the middle. The leader's not up there. Hijack researched. Marines ready to serve. Yeah, there we go. Here's the bison. Wow, rock pushing up. Ice blocks are there as well. 42 population versus 33. Rock pushing straight down the middle. Got cryotroopers, the bison, and a sniper on the way. Lotus mines are ready. He could get a nice slam off here. He's just waiting for the perfect moment so he can catch as much units as possible. This might be it. There it is. The slam goes down. The mines goes down. Rock gets caught out. The bison's weak. Alice still has full HP. There's a sniper here, and there is ice on that node as well. Almirante is just going to back off. Turrets constructed. Oh my god, Alice is being slowed. The bison takes a dig arrow as well. She looks like she's going to fall to the sniper. Alice goes down! Oh no! Amaranth does have a turret on the base. Rock's going to back the bison off. It's got his shield back, so it can now push back in. The sniper's going to get in the garrison. Got Hellbringers coming out. And Almirante forced to rebuild Alice. More and more cryotroopers pushing down the middle. Our base is under attack. 
Two power notes have been taken by Rock Gen while this is going on as well. Oh, Morante is very much stuck to his main base, forced to defend this. Bice is going to lock down in a second. This is going to be very difficult for him. Oh, decoy goes down as well. Alice is back. This time the armory gets recycled. Two snipers, one in each garrison. Sparta Slam doing nothing to the bison there. Heel goes down on the bison. Snipers are out of the garrison, focusing the leader. And Alice falls again. This could be it. I'm taking enemy fire. What a climax to the finals. And there you have it! Almirante resigns! Rock Generation gonna be winning the grand finals! Four to three in six minutes and two seconds. Just like that, he pulls it back. Holy shit. Do not underestimate Serena. Because that is what happens. The bison is a beast. Rock kept her alive.